I am not above eating some food that might be a little uh, less than fresh, but is cutting the mold off of stuff and then eating the rest actually safe? Anthony here for DNews and I have done it quite a bit. I grab some food, I notice some mold, I slice it right off, and I eat what I consider the good part. But is that actually a good part? Well, uh, mold is this microscopic fungi. They're related to mushrooms, and they're also similar to the yeast that's in bread. There are thousands of known species of them. They reproduce through these tiny little spores. They either float through the air or divide and grow on the surface of any dead organic matter. And they serve a great purpose in nature. They make sure all the dead stuff doesn't just pile up everywhere. Mold spores are actually actually a pretty common component of dust. Mold really only gets dangerous when it's around in larger visible quantities. Then they can cause allergic reactions and respiratory problems. Some molds also produce mycotoxins. That's chemicals that can cause neurological problems and even death. Now right off the bat, you're probably thinking that a lot of cheeses are made from mold. Tempeh is made from mold. Penicillin, one of the most important antibiotic discoveries of the 20th century, is a mold. So how can you tell if the mold growing on your food is even dangerous? Well, well, even though mold is used in the cultivation of cheese, at the end of the day, it has a very predictable look. Any mold that doesn't look like it should be on that cheese is wild mold and can make you sick. And the odds of you randomly growing penicillin on your old pizza when there are tens of thousands of different kinds of mold out there is not so great. But that's why we cut it off, right? Right. But mold grows in these very thin, light, thread-like structures known as hyphae, structures that aren't necessarily visible when they're on the surface of food. So just cutting off the visible bit isn't gonna get rid of it. There could also be bacterial cultures around the mold that are also unhealthy. So basically, if the food is soft or porous, the hyphae could be spidering its way down into the rest of the food. The mold can't get deeper into hard, dense foods though. So if you have like bread, cake, soft fruit, or vegetables, there's probably hyphae that you can't see. Hard cheeses or things like carrots or salami, you can probably cut that junk off just fine. Just take off some of the surrounding area as well. Also, I'm saying this out loud more for me than for you guys, but cold pizza is not a hard food, it is a cold version of a soft, porous food. Don't eat moldy pizza. I'm probably just going to keep eating moldy pizza. I am a monster with no self-control. So anyway, yeah, cutting the moldy bit off of food is definitely better than not doing it, but you probably shouldn't eat moldy food anyway. Also, the five second rule is not real either. Just thought I'd drop that one at the end there to ruin all our lives. Do you guys eat food way after you know it's gone bad? I will eat just about anything after 3 a.m. Let me know down below and subscribe for more D News.